Your subject, she has, it takes leadership on Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, a, a senior and respected member of the committee. Thank you, well, thank you very much, uh, Leader Pelosi. And yes, and I have a vote in this committee, and I, I called for a vote when women, when our, our witness Sandra Fluke uh, was excluded. It's important to remember how the hearing occurred in the first place. The hearing arose. Uh, out of a controversy that had two sides, two compelling sides, religious liberty and reproductive freedom. By the time the hearing had been held, had been called, uh, we are fortunate that the administration had worked a compromise that in fact allows uh, women to receive their contraceptive insurance while at the same time uh, recognizing the religious uh, concerns of religiously affiliated institutions such as universities and hospitals who under the accommodation do not have to pay uh, at all for contraceptives which are now which are to be received uh, through the insurance company and have no involvement uh, with contraceptives. This is very important to bear in mind because in my uh, more than 20 years in the House of Representatives I have seen a compromise that worked out a issue of such importance to both sides as favorably as this a compromise did. The committee appeared to want to exploit the religious side of the issue by excluding the only witness that the Democrats uh, that the Democrats uh, requested. Um, Sandra Fluke was essentially defined out of last week's hearing. In defining her out of the hearing, and having a hearing about only one side of a clearly two-sided issue, uh, the majority managed to define out most American women. The silent majority, uh, represented, represented by Sandra Fluke, was not at the table last week. I am very pleased, and uh, uh, Madam Leader, that you have uh, convened us here so that the concerns of women can be heard through their representative, Sandra Fluke, this morning. I thank you very much. I